YouTube, Topaz Yates back with another daily review and this one is to that Brandy begging and pleading. This is really her first comeback song and such that she's released even though she has been featured on stuff like my favorite song of 2015, that Ty Dolla Sign, that LA joint, but yet this is her own full fledged track that she's coming back with and which it's kind of understandable why we haven't heard from her in a while, man, after the car accident that she had. She ducked away from the limelight because a lot of people was very upset about it, but yet, overall, she was going to come back because she has to damn eat. Much like her little brother Ray J when he was fucking up getting high claiming the money team shit, he started dropping tracks again like that damn week because even though you're fucking up, you still gotta make a fucking living, you dig? And we all fuck up so we can all forgive, bruh. Because here's real talk, if the police can come out and straight murder a child, with a fucking toy gun and shit, man, in cold damn blood, and then the law gonna bring up no damn charges saying that this all fucking forgiven, then we can forgive Brandy, dude. So what this begging and pleading is, is her pretty much taking that old school blues sound and such, and trying to update it with current R&B, and you know what, I like that concept because not a lot of people are using those types of sounds for today's day and age and shit, man. So it definitely sounds different from what most people were putting out there and shit, it's just flawed ex Execution. Like, I didn't feel as though that production was that damn strong to begin with. Overall, I didn't feel as though this song was that strong to begin with. And what she's singing about is self-explanatory begging and pleading for someone to come back and shit to her because she done fucked up. But here's the thing I always tell people about all these songs from women, man. It's hardly ever the woman claiming that she fucked up and such. But yet, in this case, she is. But then there's always the twist to it that, okay, I'm making some demands that you are going to stay or I'm never going to let you get back to me type shit like it's never I'm just begging for forgiveness there's always some extra shit along the side of it really the only thing that captures my attention is the old school blues here honestly Brandy has come and will come much stronger than this in the near future I hope so a track I would definitely recommend people to skip on past but this concludes today's review man and now we're gonna jump into brief instrumental from underground producer Jamil Waters before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpath.com <laughs> selling albums of 2015 and a bunch of albums on it we already fucking knew about but the interesting thing about it is how album sales increased from 2014 to 2015. So all of that bitching and complaining that the music industry has been doing has been proven to be false. Like really they gave people what they fucking wanted this go around. Which to begin with was the Drake album that sold 2 million and then another million in just digital sales. Then Kendrick digitally sold 516,000 units man. Which shocking for all of the damn hate mail that I get about that damn album. You would think that he would have sold more than that. Then Drake and Future's collaborative album man that went 5 508,000. So a good handful of big sellers and shit for this go-round, dude. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about letting the computer dictate everything you fucking do. Because here we are in the digital age, I'm okay with us being on the computers to find great things, find great content that we never would have found before. But sadly, people are too lazy with the shit. People do not want to do their own searches. They don't want to find and listen to new music and shit from names that they've never fucking heard of. Instead, people are letting like formulas that these damn websites like Google and shit develop to determine where they need to view content. This generation has everything at its fucking fingertips to do anything they motherfucking want to do. But sadly, you still letting people tell you what it is you should be doing instead of going ahead and finding what you want to find. And it all really just boils down to laziness, man. People need to stop being so damn lazy to go ahead and do everything you want to do because you have these tools to do it, but you're letting the tools tell you what you need to do. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.